well in this video I'm going to show you uh, or discuss a small thing which might you know, help for the productivity uh, I'm an Emacs user like every one of you out there uh, nothing nothing too big nothing to nothing false about it the, the point is that to get yourself accustomed with the particular editor in in this case I'm talking about Emad this could be true with other editor too if you are lean on to it so I'm um, I'm sticking with in this video with Emacs and if you want to operate efficiently on Emacs you are supposed to be very efficient with the key chords either you built it yourself which is a which is a which is a job uh, not for the faint-hearted people uh, binding your own key required take some taking you need to have some sort of understanding how you might behave and if you if you if you throw out that option and go with the normal stuff like we ordinary mortals do then you have to have some mechanism uh, to be very honest I'm a kind of person I don't care or don't remember all this stuff at once whenever I need it I pull down the stuff and I get things done and my brain capacity is very limited your might be an infinite so 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 I need some assistance to get on with the with the max and do something very efficiently time to time uh, it has got so many key chords to remember it can it could apply to other editors to popular editors to if you are accustomed to that the rationale behind it that that you have to have some mechanism which should which should prompt you and allow you to operate efficiently and timely manner on a specific editor you are sitting on in this case I'm specifically talking about Emacs so Emacs a uh, lot of bright people out there they have realized it many months ago and they they they, they dish out a lot of stuff one of them is called WitchKey, which is uh, uh, I think one of the, the important package on Emacs if you start out uh, I'm not talking about the expert or masters. I'm talking about the ordinary people like us who use Emacs out of out of sheer out of sheer power, not a fanboy thing. But to get on with it, we need some assistance from the very beginning, and I have been using it for from the very beginning, the moment I discovered it, um, because I had a hard. I still do have. It doesn't eliminate all your problem on Emacs means to remember all the key code but it is certainly uh, mitigate the problem of remembering the keystroke and invoke it in time uh, with a, with a, with the good suggestion which key built for that and that is exactly doing that I'm not saying it is a panacea or it is a, it is a some kind of uh, remedy which will take away the basic problem of remember but it certainly mitigate that if you haven't used it go ahead and install it it will change your life on Emacs to operate on it certainly does to me so to, to get things installed let me get into my Emacs this is the code I have extract out from my my dot file which you can you, you can see it on github under dot file repository of mine so here is a piece of code which should be in your dot emacs or any dot el file whatever the way you like so what it will do it will basically pull down the stuff the repository you mentioned in your dot emacs or dot in or any dot el file the repository specific to Emacs package which will pull down this damn thing called which key okay it is a package and it will initialize once Emacs boots in promptly and the moment you give the initial key card like 
I'm assuming you are familiar with the prepended or default key like control X or control C. The moment you hit those keys, it will pop up, up uh, pop up uh, what I say, the window or menu to, on bottom of the screen to give you the option to choose from. So it so first of all, this code has to be there so it can initialize once Emacs boot. So it is readily or promptly available to you to use it. And the delay, the moment you hit Control X or Control C or whatever the key bind, the delay you can define. I've defined it 0.3. It could be different, you know, but this piece of code has to be there in your Emacs initialization file. Okay, so. If you did, it will install and it will initialize. Now, if if we are inside Emacs, if if I wanted to do some specific option and I forgot the option, which is quite common, right? At least lesser modern like us, it is very common. Experts can remember everything and do everything. They will tell you everything. That's why I'm so afraid of experts. So the moment you hit Control X, see. It look at the bottom. Of, it brings up plethora of option of the commands you might looking for, and you forget. So it bring and gives you an information to quickly. It it doesn't cost you too much time because most of the frequent operation which which will be etched in the muscle memory, it happen with other editors also. The one you use infrequently, which might get into oblivion or in some part of your gray cell, which might not promptly bring back to the front. So you need assistance. This is the assistance which will give you some sort of poking to your brain cell and say, see, look in here, look in there. And it will assist you like that. OK, so if I hit control C. It will come up with this it could be different to you okay but what I'm trying to say it will give you a some very important assistance to move to work efficiently on Emacs which is required it is it has got thousands of key binds if you add your own it will enhance or in case people who spend their time on Emacs the sooner or later discovered they could have done a lot of other things by themselves and they put a lot of stuff inside it which will appear here also I have so many keybinds of my own I I, I, I I have I have macros and other stuff functions too all the key keys bind and automatically detected by this package next time I initialize a boot Emacs and it helps immensely believe me I've been using it from the very beginning okay and I highly I don't know how my recommendation will but I use it that's why I'm doing this video it is helping me to get along with the max in a in a, in a better fashion okay so I do not have to go to the internet or somewhere else or ask the code expert on code about the basic stuff or rudimentary stuff what I need to do okay so this is a damn good tool uh, it helps me immensely I hope I'm doing this video just to show you once you installed it you'll get the hang of it believe me so that's what happened to me so it's become quite indispensable while operating on Emacs I hope I'm, I'm not trying to pushing it but I found it quite indispensable that's why I'm making this video just to make you aware you could have opt if if you're like me who, who is having a trouble remembering all this stuff all the time and need assistance to get on you might look into it if you don't like it go ahead and discard it to go go in your in your merry ways nobody is stopping you but if there is something something good to good to happen to get get something going smoothly 
try to try to give it a shot before before conclude okay so i hope this video will give you some sort of heads up okay so it might be useful to some people certainly not the expert thanks for watching